So I have reviewed several Audio Technica headphones on this channel in the past, and I'm super familiar with them. But this is the first noise canceling headphone I got from them, and the results are a bit different. For $249, the WS990BT did not disappoint on the build quality. Aluminum housing for the magnetic circuit of the headphone, very sturdy plastic all around, and a perfect size metal slider. So the noise canceling feature does work, and as advertised, it works perfectly with low frequency songs. If you have tried on the Bose QC35s or any other quiet comforts from Bose, this isn't really close to it. To describe it, you can imagine the WS990BT is basically dimming the lights in a room, while the QC35s are like shutting the lights off completely. And even Audio Technica themselves admit this on the back of the box. Quote, the WS990BT uses the onboard mic to allow ambient noises to be heard through the headphones, such as at airports or train station announcements. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why they even have the noise canceling feature existing then. Audio Technica has also put two different layers of ear pads on the headphone with what they call a soft fitting layer on top and acoustic layer on the bottom and it does a pretty awesome job keeping the noise isolated within the headphone. The Bluetooth on this headphone is also really really good. You can be quite far away and you wouldn't really drop the connection and the vocals are really clear. Overall the Bluetooth is excellent. As for the sound quality, the ATH WS990BT is overpriced for its sound quality presentation in my opinion. For some of the songs that I listen to, I can't can't always hear the details as the bass is a bit boosted for my taste. But of course, this headphone's designed to be a little bassy, and it's great for all of you who love extra bass. Overall, the headphone does a pretty decent job in its low range and mid range during listening. One of the features that WS990BT is really good at is the bass. Bass, they even put the feature solid bass on the box. And if you're in the market to spend over $250 on a pair of headphones, you should definitely check it out. Battery life is also pretty solid on this headphone. It usually lasts me around 10 to 16 hours depending on the usage, and the general standby time will last weeks on end. So you can pick it up in a couple weeks from now and it will still have enough juice for you to listen for the rest of the day. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up and maybe tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And that's it. My name is Tian Wu and I'll see you guys. Hold on. I need to make an explanation. <laughs> if you if you made it this far into the video, you are probably an OG OG subscriber wondering what exactly is going on in the background. It's different. It's it's a different background than before. I understand. I'm not filming my studio anymore. So there's a lot of things coming, but I will be announcing them throughout on Instagram and Twitter. So follow me at T and Woo. And um, that's it. I'll keep you guys updated.